I'm still not tired, Sally. Why can't we go to sleep? Because we're too excited, Nick. I know. Mom said there's going to be tons of snow tomorrow. I can't wait. Me too. I wish I was sleepy. Yeah, but we're not. Not sleepy? Huh? It's the cat. The cat in the hat. <laughs> now I'm even more awake. Me too. Oh, dear. If only my friend Boris was here. Boris? Who's Boris? He's a big black bear from the woods of Gleepsneep who knows ever so much about going to sleep. Maybe we could go visit him. Your mother will not mind at all if you do. Mom! Can Nick and I go to the woods of Gleepsneep to meet Boris the bear? <laughs> Gleep Sneep, you say? Okay, but don't be gone long. The sooner you go to sleep, the sooner you'll get up in the morning. We can go! We can go! I know, I know! To the thingamajigger! Brr, it's cold out. Now I know how a frozen fish stick feels. Cold? Why, this isn't cold. Wait till you get to the woods of Gleepsneep. Buckle up! <laughs> Here we go, 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 go! On an adventure, the thing of my jigger is up and away! Go, 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 go! On an adventure, we're flying with the cat in the hat today! We're off to the whispering woods of Deep Sneep to find a black bear who can help us to sleep! Here, Here we go, 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 go! On an adventure, go, 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 go! <laughs> Boris! If it isn't my old friend the cat, and you've brought friends. Nick, Sally, allow me to introduce you to Boris. Hello! Hiya! A pleasure. So, what brings you all here to my neck of the woods? We need help getting to sleep. Well then, you've come to the right bear. In fact, I'm getting ready for my hibernation right now. Hibernation? What's that? It's like a very deep sleep. A very long, very, uh, uh deep sleep. <clears throat> if I may. When the weather turns cold and the snow grows deep, a bear curls up for a very long sleep. The name for the sleep is hibernation, and it takes a lot of preparation. Hibernation, 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 hibernation. A bear's winter nap is a very long thing. They fall asleep and fall, don't wait till it's spring. The name for the snap is hibernation. It's a bear's idea of a winter vacation. We call it hibernation, 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 hibernation. Hibernation, hibernation, hibernation. Hibernation! 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 Oh, no! A snowflake! Ah! Oh, no! Not a snowflake! Anything but a snowflake! Hmm. What's so bad about a snowflake again? It means winter is almost here, and I still have lots to do before I'm ready for hibernation. What if we helped you get ready? We're very good helpers. Right, Cat? The very bestest. All right. Let's do it. Yeah! Follow me. I'll take you to my home. Hurry back before my fishbowl turns into a snow globe. Here we are. Home sweet home. It looks really cozy, but, uh... Where's your pillow? No problem. One fluffy bear-sized pillow coming right up. 
I don't use one of those fluffy things. I prefer to sleep on branches and soft leaves. In fact, I was just about to gather some when you called. We can help! Almost as soft as my own bed. Are you ready to sleep now, Boris? Not quite. <sighs> <sighs> I still have a few things to take care of. Be right back. Maybe he's going to wash his face. Or brush his teeth. <clears throat> Nature calls. When you gotta go, you gotta go. You must be ready to go to sleep now. Let's see. My bed is ready. Check. I've gone to the bathroom. Check. What was that? Thunder? A stampede of wild horses? The mighty call of the warble-throated Z-Zobblers of Mount Singzaggle. Huh? Actually, <clears throat> that was my tummy. Whoa. You must be pretty hungry. Nope, I've been eating my fill for weeks now. My tummy was just telling me I need one last snack before bed. <laughs> you should hear it when I'm really hungry. What kind of food do bears eat? Oh, berries, nuts, leaves, anything I can rustle up in the bushes. Cat, let's help make one last snack before bedtime for Boris. A feast fit for a king. Yes, a big feast. That's just what we'll do. And there's no better cooks than Thing One and Thing Two. Eat another bite. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Maybe just one more heaping plateful. <laughs> ah, that hit the spot. <sighs> this has been fun, but <sighs> I think it's time I got to sleep. Oh, no! I was so busy getting ready to hibernate, I forgot all about helping you two get to sleep. You did help us, silly. <sighs> I did? Yeah. Now we know how to get ready to go to sleep. Oh, well then. I guess my work here is done. Nighty-night. How about a lullaby? I know just the one. When the weather turns cold and the snow grows deep, a bear curls up for a very long sleep. The name of the sleep is hibernation, and it takes a lot of preparation. Hibernation, 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 hibernation. He's asleep. It worked. Maybe a little too well. Look. It's snowing. Yay! Oh, I mean, yay! We helped Boris get comfy and made sure he was fed. And now it's our turn to get ready for bed. <sighs> <laughs> Mm. 
There, nice and comfy, just like Boris showed us. We had a snack with Boris. I washed my face and went to the bathroom. And we brushed our teeth. So that's done too. All that's left is... Bedtime! Bedtime. How about a story to help you fall asleep? <sighs> oh, well. I guess I'll just read myself a story. Once upon a... Time. There was a... There was a... Hi! My friend Squirrel is getting ready for winter. To do that, he stores lots of food in his home. Ooh! An acorn! Now, where was I? What kind of food do squirrels store in their homes? <gasps> Did you say acorns? Well, you're right. Squirrels store acorns and other nuts for the winter. You got it this time, but next time, I'll stump you for sure. <gasps> <laughs> syrup today, Nick. <gasps> Did someone say maple syrup? It's the cat! The cat in the hat! Hoo-hoo! Pancakes! I love pancakes! With oodles and poodles of maple syrup! Sorry, no maple syrup today. Our new maple tree isn't big enough to make any. Why won't it grow? It's been three days! I don't think our tree will ever grow. Sally, Sally, don't feel so blue. My friend Dr. Twiggles will know what to do. Dr. Twiggles? Who's Dr. Twiggles? The best tree doctor ever. He lives in the wild and woolly woods. Let's go visit Dr. Twiggles right now. Yes! Your mother will not mind at all if you do. Mom, can we take our tree to the wild and woolly woods to see the tree doctor? Wild and woolly woods? Tree doctor? <laughs> sure, everybody needs a checkup. We can go, we can go! I know, I know! To the thingamajigger! <laughs> are you ready? Yes, we are! Are you steady? Yes, we are! Are you sure you're ready to explore? Yes, we are! Then buckle up! <laughs> Flick the jigger, my wizard! <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this fun? <laughs> Here we go, 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 go! On an adventure, the thing of my jigger is up and away! Go, 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 go! On an adventure, we're flying with the cat in the house! To the wild and woolly woods we will go to help our little tree grow, grow, grow. Here we go, 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 on an adventure. Go, 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 go. Here we are, the wild and woolly woods. Whoa! Check out the size of this tree. A mighty oak tree. Hello, Dr. Twiggles. The cat in the hat. Always good to see you. But who do we have here? These are my friends, Nick and Sally. They've got tree trouble. That's our little maple tree over there. Make way, tree doctor coming through. 
Nice bark, mm -hmm. healthy leaves. What seems to be the problem? It won't grow. Do you think you can help? A good doctor is always happy to help. Yellow, a pine is in pain? Oh, twigs, it's a tree emergency. Quick, everyone, run this way. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo, you heard him, run this way. Wee -oo, wee -oo. Ish. Trees, trees, glorious trees, from roots below to crowning leaves. This tree's a pine so prickly and fine, with cones so coney and needles divine. <laughs> Ouch! Needles? In deedles! Pines don't have leaves. They have needles that grow all year long. Ouch! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> oh. Is that why they call them always greens? Ooh, you're almost right. We call them evergreen. Although it's natural for some needles to fall out, it's not... Oh! Weeping willows, but not that many. Quick, under here. All clear. What's wrong with this pine, Dr. Twiggles? I'm not sure. Hmm. How about I check the top while you check the bottom? You mean here? No, the very bottom. There's more tree underground. Let me know what you see. Wait, we have to go down there? How are we going to do that? It's easy. With my thingamajiggers, Frillamadriller. Follow me. Flip the Frillamadriller. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> where are we going? Down. Press the shrink -a doodle <laughs> Cool. Are those the tree's feet? No, they're the tree's roots. Right, Cat? Absolutely. They keep the tree in place and soak up food and water to help it grow. Whoa! Look at those roots. They look kind of dry. Poor things. We better give them some water. But the only water down here is in Fish's bowl. Don't even think about it. Let's go back up and tell Dr. Twiggles. Roger that. Going up. Dr. Twiggles. Dr. Twiggles. We think we know what's wrong with the pine. Oh, good, because this tree is losing needles faster than a sneezy porcupine. <laughs> Achoo! The roots look very dry. Could the tree be thirsty? Yes. In fact, it is. The soil is so dry, there's no water for the roots to sip up. Trees can't grow without water. <laughs> oh, chestnuts, where are we going to get lots of water for our thirsty pine? A tree that is thirsty? Well, I know what to do. Calling our friends Thing 1 and Thing 2. Come on, let's all help. That ought to do it. <laughs> Oh, no! The needles are still dropping! No worries. Trees are very slow, slow, slow when it comes to drinking. And everything else, too. Which reminds me about your little tree. Oh, no. It's for you. Another tree emergency. Uh, yes? Oh, no. A birch in the lurch. Follow me. Wee -oo, wee -oo. Trees, trees, glorious trees, from roots below to crowning leaves. Behold the birch, a beautiful sight, with delicate branches and bark, black and white. How come that birch tree is bigger than this one? Brr, it's cold over here in the shade. Maybe the tree doesn't like the cold. Ooh. Not the cold, but the dark. All these shadows make it too dark here. 
What this tree needs is some tasty sunlight. Hang on, you can't eat sunlight. Well, not exactly. Oh, but leaves use energy from the sun to make the tree's food. But there's not much sun around here because something big is blocking it. Oh my, what is this? Oops, <laughs> that's my house. <laughs> How dare it stand in the way of this tree making lunch? <laughs> there's only one thing to do, move it. Heave! Ho! Oh! Heave! Ho! Oh! Oh, oh, painful! Oh, ouchie! Look! Sunlight! Cool! Lunchtime, tree! Come and get it! When will the birch be finished eating? Not for a while, because when it comes to eating, trees are slow, slow, slow. slow. Now, about that maple tree of yours. Hmm, what seems to be the problem? It's not growing. Maybe it's not getting enough sunshine. But it's in the sunniest spot in the yard. Maybe it's not getting enough water. But I water it every day. I see. And uh, how long have you had the tree? Three days. Aha! I know exactly why it's not bigger yet. Walk this way. Trees, trees, glorious trees, from roots below to crowning leaves. Behold the maple, a tree with green keys, twirling through the air in the summertime breeze. <laughs> hmm, but how come our maple tree isn't as big as that one? It will be. It takes about 40 years for a tree to grow from this little seed to this. Trees are slow, slow, slow growers, too. 40 years to wait for maple syrup? Our pancakes will get cold. Oh, you can have mine. I collected enough sap last winter to make loads more. Uh, thanks, Dr. Twiggles. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Dr. Twiggles. Goodbye. A tree needs lots of water and light so it can reach its full-grown height. But it takes time for trees to grow, because trees are very slow, slow, slow. Enjoy your lunch, little tree. Speaking of lunch, would anyone care for another pancake? Ta-da! Oh, no! More pancakes? <laughs> oh. Oh. Um... <clears throat> Could someone pass the syrup, please? <laughs> oh, I'm having fun. Welcome to Hat Chat. Today we're interviewing Greg and Gary. They are gulls. Can you tell us about being a gull? We are pretty talented birds. We swim like ducks, we're expert flyers, and we can even walk. Great, huh? <laughs> Greg, show him your web feet. Hey, you ate all the chips. Did you eat my sandwich too? Sorry, we can't help it. We're scavengers. Scavengers? Most gulls eat things like fish, but we also like to eat leftovers and things people forget about. Gulls are expert scavengers. Well, it was very nice meeting you, even if you did eat our lunch. Bye! Later! Now let's go home. I'm starving. <laughs> How do we know a bird is a bird? Do we ask it politely and take the bird's word? Do we know it's a bird when it crosses the sky? That sounds pretty good. But some birds don't fly. Do only birds sing? Is that how we tell? But whales are not birds, and they sing songs as well. Ah, says the cat. I'm still ever so clever. For I know an answer that will last forever. What makes it a bird? Let's all say it together. Lies under my hat. Yes, you're right. It's a feather. All birdies have feathers, big ones and tiny. Some feel so soft and some are quite spiny. They help a bird fly, keep it warm as can be. And some make the bird look as handsome as me. The mystery solved by the cat in the hat. All birds have feathers, and that's simply that. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.
the humpback whale's eyes are on both sides of his face. He can see things all around him while he keeps his head in place. There's a cool chameleon changing colors on the ground. His eyes, well, they can see in two directions. One looks up while the other looks down. Eyes in different places, not like you and me. Animals' eyes, all shapes and sizes, change the way they see. There's a buzzing black fly flying overhead. Its eyes are like kaleidoscopes, seeing many pictures instead. Eyes in different places, not like you and me. Animals' eyes, all shapes and sizes, change the way they see. Hi, kids. Don't you just love the rain? Fish love water. Hey, the sun's out. That makes me think of a very colorful question. Sometimes after it rains, something colorful appears in the sky. Do you know what it is? Ooh, a rainbow. That's right. You got it this time. But next time, I'll stump you for sure. Ah, what a nice day.